Okay guys, so in this video we are uh, going to be showing you how to make a infrared flashlight. Okay, um, first thing you're going to need is going to need some infrared LEDs, which is right there. Uh, I bought a bag of them a while ago. And, uh, yeah, so that's the first thing you're going to need for an infrared light, is some infrared LEDs. Next thing is, is I picked up this uh, dollar store 5 LED flashlight. Just cheap, uh, runs off these tiny little watch style batteries. Uh, there is a number on there. There you go. I think that's right. Is that right? I can't tell. No, that ain't right. There you go, now it's right. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to show you how to make one. Um, usually, for stuff like this, you would need a soldering iron, but in this case, I've already took a look inside this one. I've already opened it just to see what we're looking at here, and uh, with this one, they actually don't use any solder. So, we'll pull that apart here. I'll show you what they've done here. They've uh, twisted all these metal middle wires together. As I said, I got pulled apart so they're not as pretty anymore. But the middle wires were twisted together and the outside wires just touch the side there on the inside of the ring. And, uh, then all they did was uh, put this black cap in there, just right in the center there, so it would hold the positive wires in the middle and push the negative wires to the side. So, in this case, we're not going to need a soldering iron. Uh, yeah, so all we got to do is untwist these, pull them out. Um, let's see how this goes. Uh, which one's that? can't tell. One of them will come out with a little love. Oh, there's one. Okay, now since these are still good LEDs, I'm not going to throw them out. I'm just going to set them aside here. Because you never know when you'll need an LED. Come on. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. And finally. Oh, yeah, that one's a little stuck. There's the last one. Okay, so there we go. Push those aside. You don't want to mix them up. Mm, now, before you actually go about putting all these in because you are going to have to oh there you got some twisted together here from the before project um, so I'm just going to untwist these here uh, um, this was actually just a voltage test I twisted together uh, a couple months ago when I was playing with them. But anyways, okay, so don't mix those up. Okay, so before you even bother sticking them in or doing anything, test, make sure that they're the same size, which in this case they are. They slide right in through the top part, so I know that they'll slide in that way. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, just test them. And uh, now you can't test these things with the human eye. You'll never know if they light up or not. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, 
actually going to shut off this light. I can't remember what's positive and negative on this. Oh, I seen it. There we go. Okay, so what I just found out, the longer one is positive, shorter one is negative. And as you see, you guys can see that, and the human eye can't. Okay, so what we want to do is <clears throat> when we put these in here, okay, when you're stuffing them in, you're going to want to make sure that the positive, in this case the longer of the two, as you can probably not see, but there you go, as you can see the one's just a bit longer than the other, so we're going to want to make sure those go to the middle, so we'll stick one of those in. Uh, <laughs> now, you may also want to have a little screwdriver just to help you push in the LED. I think that's in, yep, that's in. LED's poking out the top here, so we know that's good. And uh, another thing you want to make sure you do is you don't let these positive wires cross. Because if they cross on the inside there, you get shorted out and it's not going to work. So, we're going to go like that. Okay, so there's one. Um, make sure you have some sort of snips to snip the excess off. Uh, in this case, just grab a pair of cheesy needle nose here with snips on them. And just snip the negatives off first so you know. Oh, yeah, they really are cheesy ones. They're not even cutting through it. Alright, um. Oh, there you go. They really are crap. Um, so yeah, so I end up pulling out the LED a bit. There you go. Leave the middle ones the same length, that way you know that that is the positive. That'll give you some room to twist them up a little bit. Um, so yeah, so we're good there. There's our positive one. Up. Okay, so let's turn out this light, and there you go, boys. Five infrared LEDs. Um, it's probably dimmer than the original light. Oh, yeah, oh, way dimmer. But this is actually going to make it so you can take this light, point it right in someone's eyes. Don't notice nothing. You take this light, point it in your eyes, it's blinding you. So, I mean, now I'll have a small little infrared light because my JVC camera doesn't uh, have infrared. It just has a cheap little LED light in it. Let's take a look and see how it works. So, like I said, I don't think it'll be as bright as the lights because it is a cheap set of LEDs. I think I paid a dollar for that bag of them, which was like 50 LEDs. <laughs> Ugh, thank God for eBay. Okay, so let's uh, take a look here. Is this thing on? Yep. 
Um, yeah, so let's try going down to the ground. Okay, extremely dim. Um, the one I had with 50 LEDs was way brighter. So, I mean, it's not a very good one. I knew 5 LEDs wouldn't. But it was worth a try, fun to play with. Um, let's take a look at the wall here. It is, it is totally working though. Okay, but this stupid little five cheap LED, LED infrareds, nothing compared to this regular LED light because, well, these are probably cheap LEDs too, just like not infrared. So if I went and bought better infrareds, I bet you it'd be just like that. But uh, we'll try changing the mode here on my camera because I know my camera doesn't like the dark much and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so yeah, so if I turn my shutter speed down, which makes it a little choppier, um, I can actually see a little bit better with this. Um, but it's still nothing like this other one. <laughs> so, uh... So yeah, it does work, it's just not the greatest for this um, experiment. Um, then there's the light on my camera, which isn't too bad. Still not as bright as the 5 LED are though. But uh, yeah, that's uh, just a little video on how to make an uh, infrared. LED but uh, anyways uh, next time I do one of those videos I'm hoping I'll have a better bag of infrareds because these things are garbage um, they're nine, 940s I think that's what the bag says there 940s so I want to go with the lower number which is supposedly uh, brighter light Anyways guys, have a good one.